Hey guys, today we're gonna go through the differences and compare the Kuyu DCS guide vest and the Kuyu super down vest. So when I was actually looking at buying my first piece of Kuyu clothing, I actually opted to go with the Kuyu super down vest. Um, I did a lot of research on the specs and some of the um, really granular detail of, of both of these. Um, and actually I, I made a mistake in purchasing the super down vest first. Um, although it was a, a, f a mistake that worked out in my favor, I really like the Kuyu super down vest, that's why I still have it. Um, the first thing I noticed when I pulled it out of my um, out of the package was the overall weight of this object. Um, so this weighs 6.4 ounces, it's 850 downfill. That means it is 95% um, goose down and 5% feather. It's the warmest, I guess, rate uh, weight to warmth ratio. And I don't think I really comprehended what 6.4 ounces weighs. And just to give you guys a, a slight idea, if I drop this, it doesn't hit the ground very quick. Um, so again, uh, just for comparison's sake, very, 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 very light. Um, so I can't emphasize that enough. The other thing I noticed was the face fabric on here. Um, it's very, very light, makes it very compressible, but it does not do well in the stuff you see in the background here. So um, that was one thing I was kind of looking for is maybe utilizing it for shed hunting in, in March, in Feb uh, February, March in Wisconsin, which is where I live or utilizing it for elk hunting when it got a little cold in the mornings. So uh, the compressibility of this is phenomenal. I can't speak enough of that. It actually compresses into its own pocket and it breaks down to about the size of a softball. So you can see really easy I'm compressing this. Uh, fits into a pack. So if you guys are gonna be doing sheep hunting or something above tree line, an awesome piece that you can stack underneath any of their rain gear or uh, stack over a sweatshirt or some of the soft shell jackets. It's gonna be a really, really nice piece to put in your, your pack and it doesn't take up much space. I paid $180 for this. Um, it's very well built, again, super light. The zippers work excellent. The other thing I like about the zipper pocket you're gonna see here in the front is that it actually fits, I'm gonna put this on, it actually fits my iPhone 7 Plus. So, we'll pull up my phone here and I can slip it right into here. So it's really nice because I use this not only as my GPS but also my camera. Put it right in there, fits perfect. So the next piece I bought was the guide vest. So this is the DC guide vest. Has a much heavier face fabric. I think it's 274 grams per meter square. Um, it's almost like a soft shell jacket material, still pretty quiet, uh, but a much more durable. Again, uh, the pockets on here are gonna fit the iPhone 7 Plus, which is a, the largest Apple phone they make, and I can actually stack this over the super down vest because of the compressibility, and it's not very bulky. So uh, yesterday we were out shed hunting, it was about 25 degrees out. I just wore this with the super, uh, or I'm sorry, the 210 Merino hoodie, and I was, uh, pretty comfortable. So again, on here, I think I paid $130 for the guide vest. Um, it was probably more of what I was looking for from the start. So it has two pockets, uh, one on the right chest and one on the left, both easily fit my phone. Um, I can also put you know, my dog whistle or my calls into there as well. And uh, really nice to be able to access that. So I'm gonna take off my super down vest here. The Kuyu guide vest weighs, I think about 13 ounces. So considerably heavier than what the uh, super down vest weighs, but still uh, very light considering, uh, comparing to, to other products and other vests on the market. Um, so here, I'm just gonna drop this vest just to give you an idea here. Hits the ground pretty quick relative. It weighs double what the super down vest does. So um, this is kind of more of what I expected originally, even with the super down vest at 13 ounces, but still uh, fairly light. Uh, the other thing is the temperature range on the guide vest. So right now, I think it's about 45 degrees here in Wisconsin, sunny, a little bit windy. Um, I'm getting away with the 210 Merino hoodie and this guide vest. So this is what I would have chose to wear today. Um, the nice thing is I can just pull that hood up and it's gonna work pretty well um, as stacking, as a stacking option. Um, but yeah, so I really like this for that temperature range. 
when we're going into the super down vest, I would say that range is anywhere between 30 degrees with the merino hoodie, uh, maybe 25 degrees with the merino hoodie walking around, all the way up to about 50 degrees. Once it's above 50 degrees, I certainly got to go down and wear probably the guide vest or not wear or wear something lighter than the 210 merino hoodie, which is already pretty light. So anything over 50 degrees, the super down vest is um, kind of, it loses its, a lot of its value because of how warm it is. Um, where this vest kind of plays into the, the low 60s, I would say. Um, also with that super down vest here, I have used this for ice fishing and other applications where I'll just stack this underneath a jacket and it is incredible how much six, uh, you know, 6.4 ounces this vest uh, and, and putting that underneath another piece of clothing, how much warm that can, uh, uh, how much warmer that can keep you. So uh, those are the comparisons that I'll make between these. Overall, uh, for shed hunting or if you're out here in the woods and you're worried about uh, some of the, the brush um, touching the fabric, I would certainly go with the guide vest. If you're hunting above tree line, you're worried about compressibility and warmth, certainly go with the Kuyu Super Down Vest.